Hi, welcome to another edition of the Bell Performance video blog. I am Eric Bjornstad with Bell Performance. Today, we're going to talk about cafe standards and what those standards mean for you, the consumer. Now, cafe standard is an acronym. Uh, stands for Corporate uh, Automobile uh, Fuel Economy Standard. And uh, the cafe standard, when you hear that term, what it means is um, it's the rule that applies to automakers like Ford and Honda and Toyota, and it dictates that the average fuel economy for their entire fleet or all of the car models that they offer in a given year has to average a given a minimum of a given miles per gallon. Now, those standards have been steadily rising ever since, uh, well, we'll say at least the early 90s. Um, and... As it stands right now, um, in 2016, the CAFE standard is going to be just a touch above 34 miles per gallon. So what does this mean for you, the consumer? Well, uh, the first thing uh, is that uh, you're going to have more fuel efficient cars. Uh, that's going to change the way that they make cars. It's going to change the kinds of things that they offer on cars. It's going to change the pricing incentives that the automakers offer in order to drive, hopefully in, for their purposes, drive consumers to buying more of the smaller cars that will get better gas mileage and help them meet this CAFE standard. Um, you, you know, when, when you're looking at fuel economy for the EPA's purposes, EPA, of course, is Environmental Protection Agency, so the EPA doesn't care how much a car costs. They don't care, they don't really care what gas mileage you're getting. What they care about is the effects of that car and your usage of that car on the environment. Uh, and in this case, they're talking about air quality. So what the EPA is trying to do is to enforce laws enacted by Congress that result in uh, things that are better for the environment. And in this case, better gas mileage relates to less CO2 being put out uh, into the environment. Um, so cars with better gas mileage, they're going to burn less fuel to do the same amount of work, which means they're going to be putting less carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. How much do CAFE standards affect this kind of thing? Well, uh, the people who do the calculations on this kind of stuff, they estimate that this 34 mile per gallon CAFE standard is going to result in about um, almost 2 billion gallons less fuel being burned by consumers across the country. And in terms of carbon dioxide and the stuff that's going out into the atmosphere, uh, they're concerned about carbon dioxide. And uh, that 2 billion gallons is going to be about 1 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide that's not going into the atmosphere versus if we had kept the standards uh, the same as they were, you know, 5, 10 years ago. Now, in terms of the kinds of cars that are going to be made available, well, the cars are going to have to be lighter, which means their engines are going to probably get smaller. So people who grew up driving these big muscle cars with the huge powerful engines, those are going to be becoming more and more relics of the past, so to speak. Uh, they're going to be putting more turbochargers on cars. They're going to be looking for every possible way that they can to make a lighter car that burns less fuel but yet is still attractive for consumers to buy. That could even mean putting slicker tires that roll on the ground with less friction. That saves a little bit of gas too. Um, <clears throat> and uh, in terms of pricing incentives, uh, the, the major automakers, what they are very likely going to have to start doing is they're going to start pricing their larger vehicles. Uh, they're going to be adding surcharges on for a better way to put it uh, as much as four to seven thousand dollars for let's say an SUV model uh, they're gonna have to tack that on uh, because what they're going to try to do is to take the people the consumers that are going out to buy new cars and are considering buying a you know a Honda pilot that gets 21 miles per gallon well Honda is going to increase the cost of that pilot uh, so that that consumer will say, well, maybe I should look at a Honda Hybrid or a smaller Honda Accord or 
or, you know, a Honda model that gets 36 miles per gallon instead of 21. And so in that way, consumers can expect to see car prices rising as automakers do everything that they can to try and drive consumer behavior towards the more efficient models to help them meet this law. So th practically speaking, that is what the CAFE standards could well mean to you, the driving consumer. So that's what we have for today. Thanks for joining me. If you like this, check us out on the web at bellperformance.com and wefixfuel.com. I am Eric with Bell Performance. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.